Herzlich willkommen, welcome to the Creative Gaming Festival and the Creative Gaming Awards. My name is Manuel, with me is the wonderful Nina. Oh, thank you for saying that. And we're really glad that you're all here. And also to all of the people online that will be watching, yes. we're, we're very happy that you found the time to um, join us. And celebrate games with us. Exactly. We're here to celebrate the eighth gaming, uh, Creative Gaming Award. Um, and this is going to happen. We're, uh, in the first hour, we're going to play all the games that are nominated and show you guys what the games are all about. Yes, we have I'm three excited. different categories, <laughs> and we're very yes. excited to play the games and to show you the uh, very creative different games. And in the second hour, we're going to give out the awards together with the creative gaming community and the, and the committee. Uh, and with us is the wonderful Fee. Hi. Hello, um, yeah, um, I'm very excited that this is finally happening. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a lot of preparation and now we have the Let's Play and uh, the show. That's yeah. amazing. And Fee will help us uh, to introduce you guys to the games because she, she knows everything about the games that is to know. And so we can always ask her about uh, the background to the game and explain the game better to you because we are quite uh, into the game when we play the games. Exactly, right? and also it has uh, it has happened that we were confused in the years before. Uh, I remember me pushing a tentacle into something that it was not supposed to go uh, to. So um, we will try to avoid that and have someone with us to help us as soon as we're stuck. But I. Yes, like I think we can manage pretty well, though. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm looking forward to it. And um, we ha we'll, we'll have live publicum today. We have live yes, audience that's today. New. And this is uh, very nice to have. Uh, welcome to everybody here, but also welcome to the stream. Everybody who's watching on uh, Twitch and in the, what is it called? The Play Valley. The Play Valley, and yeah. you can communicate with us. So go to the Play Valley. And I was told you have to go left side of the stage. And there you can comment and uh, participate in the stream. Also on my channel where all of this is hosted, yes. you can just write into the chat. Everyone's very friendly there, hopefully. And um, have fun participating. Also, you of the audience, please participate with your voices and your hands and um, sounds of wonder and excitement because that's <laughs> what it's all about. This is the first time that we've been doing this with an audience, so uh, bear with us. <laughs> this is new. Before that, we've only done it online. Right? Yeah. 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 We've only been streaming up until now, so this is a first for us too. And everybody's wondering about this <laughs> stuff already. Yes. This is part of the first game we're gonna play. Yeah. Um, the guys of you who have already been to the to the exhibition maybe have seen this curtain <laughs> sheet. Sheet. It's a sheet <laughs> of fabric, but it is um, a curtain, and it belongs to this game called. I'm not, I'm not sure. It's <laughs> called uncertainty. Uncertainty, <laughs> exactly. It's a wordplay with uncertainty. Yeah. And uh, we're going to play that. And it's a very fun installation because you guys going to hear Nina's um, audio and yeah. the stream outside will hear my audio because yes. the game is based around two people on each side of the curtain. And each of the person hears a different story and hears a different um, prompt what to do. Exactly. The both of us are going, not going to be able to see one another, and then the interaction with the curtain will be the fun installment. We've tried it before in order to not make any <laughs> dead, like, dead mistakes, and one voice once told me I should punch the wall. Well, I was afraid I'm going to hurt Manu, so we'll be excited to see what is going to happen now. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we could just start if you guys up for it, right? Exactly. But uh, Fee, take us a little back. Uh, what is the background of this installation? How did you guys hear of that? Uh, because it's it's the first nomination. Yeah, yeah. yeah and the, f the first is uh, it's uh, the one of the nominations for the for the main category, the the most creative game award. Um, I think you have to come a little closer. Yeah, yeah come closer here. <laughs> I'll come out of my corner. Yes. Um, yeah, and the, the submission period uh, started in in um, in June and uh, until the, the end of July, and we had so many great submissions. And yeah, but Uncertainty was one that really that really stuck out. Um, and as far as I remember, it um, it was um, it was done in 
Two, two months? No, it says um, uncertainty has been entirely created in two weeks. In two weeks? Oh my yes. god, I remember that uh, wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. I, I had to read it too. And uh, it's it was from concept to production. So this is a fairly quick idea for a game. And especially with this kind of installment, which makes it a little difficult to play at home as well, because this fabric is like special. Yeah. And uh, the first version of the installation, um, they try to find the perfect sheet, and the perfect sheet is now on a sofa, as far as I know, <laughs> it's a blanket somewhere. So this is like the final version that gives enough possibilities to play the game in an yeah. uh, immersive way as well. I, I would say we try it out now. Yes, we should. If you try an installation, um, you scan a QR code, and then you yeah. open up a, a website on your, on your smartphone, put in your earphones, and then you start one of the four different chapters. And we're going to yeah. do it like this, that um, I will pretend not to hear your chapter, because <laughs> I already knew it. Uh, yes. But the audience in the stream will hear my... Yeah, my, exactly. My, or, so or the both parts will hear different uh, voices as well, because yeah. the two people um, Lea and Manu, that's what they were called. They're it's not each, me. no, not you. <laughs> They're each uh, telling one side of the story. So there will be a male voice and there will be a female voice for the others. And we'll see how it plays, plays out, I guess. Let's try. Yes, let's try. Yeah, and I think I have to go over there to start it. Oh, you uh, do? Or, or Matt is helping. Thank you very much. Oh. Please step inside the white square and face the curtain. Remain there until the sequence is loaded. Experience 3 now loading. Please wait. In the absolute darkness of the night, you can barely see your own hand. You enjoy these walks alone. They let you think about the world and its fucked up parts without irritation. At least, it is almost always that way. But tonight, it's a special night. Tonight, the torch barks are flying. As you observe one of these little glowing fellows, you wonder what their goal in life might be. They fill the dark space with such a small light and still they symbolize hope. But what if they are lost? If they need guidance? Place your finger anywhere on the curtain and push gently against the fabric. Hold still where you are. Whenever the little torch bug reaches your finger, replace it somewhere else and observe. It seems to have a connection to you. Isn't it fascinating? Let's change our action to see how our new friend reacts. The next time you place your finger on the curtain, start moving in the direction of the torch buck. Follow it, but never touch it. As one last act for the night, Let's say goodbye to our new friend. Move your finger to the center of the curtain and press your whole palm flat, gently into the fabric. Experience 3 successfully executed. Please remove equipment and proceed with the next experience if you like. Very touching. It's very touching. Yes. <laughs> I'm also not so much into touching, so this is always very. I, I like that you're there and not mm -hmm. anybody. Um, this was like, I really like the experience of what it brings you to do. Yeah. And how you experience like how the fabric is moving and stuff. So, it's an interesting concept, I guess. Yeah. You have to try it out in the in the installation if you have the time tomorrow, for example. <laughs> And there's a total different, uh, three different, uh, four different, totally different sets and stories. 
So in, in one uh, chapter, you had to press your face into it, and I was I told able me to, to press my, my face <laughs> into a fabric. And the moment before that, I, like I had to punch that fabric. And then that's when it told me, well, now place your forehead against the fabric. I was like, nope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there is a lot of intimacy suddenly behind this sheet where yeah. it tells you that you could also not know the person on the other side that you're playing it with. So there is a very intimate con uh, connection because even though um, it's a fabric between there, you can still feel pressure and warmth mm -hmm. and also the hand itself Great or any other body part, wh yeah. which is not what, yes, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it's also f uh, funny what you what you said about oh no well I, now I have to I have to uh, put my face there uh, the the um, uh, Malino the developers uh, they assured us that no one ever got hurt while playing it um, but yeah some people got very close to being buried under the blanket <laughs> yes because, because it, it tells you to punch the thing and uh, with all your force of of of, of angry feelings and. I wouldn't. This it's, is it's a great experience. I can totally understand yeah. why it's uh, been nominated. Yes, of um, course. But I think we should go to the next uh, nomination, which is only a video installation. And in this time, we can prepare our third nomination, which is a VR game, which yes. I'm going to dive into right now. So let's start the video. Hello, let me some. Welche Sch Mein Mikro ist noch an. Test, test, test. Achso, the, the audience is not going to see the video. They should be able to. And we are just commenting as far as I know. The word abstraction, we commented. turn it into a sequence yeah. of symbols. Abs. This is cool. I might have to paint cool. some of it on the other. Okay, some. Um, this is that would, that would something uh, was made up. In an epic story to overthrow the biggest threat the galaxy has seen. The word abstraction, we turn it into a sequence of symbols. Abs. I might have to paint some of it on the onion. Abster. At. Chi. On. Abstraction. There we go. That's nice and abstract and literary. So, what else do we want? We want a crazy sheet. You can be just like me. If you really want to, you can be just like me. We have sold 50 products today. We are doing well. 51 products. We're selling the broadband TV. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's so that's much broadband. broadband. Just think, that's 50,000 times faster than your usual broadband speed if you run it on 50,000 separate computers. Now, French, you know, and somebody oh. had control over. We could choose what we wanted to say, what we wanted to do. We could choose what career path we wanted to aspire to. But there were other things we couldn't control, just like the paint. We can't control where the paint will drip. We can't control where our career will take us, you know? And maybe things don't turn out as you'd like it. Maybe you put paint onto paper and it doesn't look how you wanted it to do. Maybe you can't finger paint an elephant as well as you want to. Bells are sore, so my bells will cry. There we go. That's some Belgian sauce on there. Okay, you can see the blue over it, so I'll, I want there to be more blue in here. It'll be the color that I feel most. Thank you for thank you for all the lovely words. I do appreciate it. Um, so Is I'm it important yeah. for your art to be good? Listen to the, listening to the way I've been talking over the past half hour. Um, I think I place a lot of importance. Swim. Ski. Cut your hair. 
Ja, ja. exist in the moment and I think that to me is a really interesting outcome so I might do another stream and bring do that idea of the painted man but on its own not mix it into this uh, because that I just think good I couldn't think of a bit for that box human we are selling box humans hey you would like to buy a box human you can go you can say Buy box human in the chat, and you can buy yourself a delicious box human. Not delicious, don't eat it. Don't eat it, don't eat the box human. The box human is your friend. We have sold the box human. We have sold the box human. Thank you for buying a box human. I hope the box human. Would you like some marmite? Would you like my marmite explosion? Would you like some marmite? Yeah. How would you describe the relationship that you have with your viewers? Um, so, I mean, I feel like I've got a and there's a, this is to be so if you have three more questions, I think he's only going to ask one more <laughs> question. Um, he looks at everything, and everything looks back at him, and we realize that everything, we are there. We set up cameras in the spin. Wir müssen gleich noch erklären, was das gerade ist überhaupt. Bevor wir da jetzt reintauchen. Irgendwas Bring some the paint to different places. That's quite nice. That is actually quite impactful as a thing. <laughs> Getting paint all over my landscape. Good Nixon smelling Nixon can listen Richard Nixon. Yeah. Gay Richard Nixon. Stuff, stuff. Richard Nixon. Richard Nixon. I'll kick Richard Nixon. Richard Nixon. Stuff. Okay, so I've got a fistful of these things right now. I'm going to see if I just slap them even more and I can just crumple them into my hands and kind of pile them up here. Because sounds really nice. I don't know if you're picking that up, but the sound just is this lovely kind of crunch sound. There we go. All right, Windows update. Worst model size with the pancake. Whoop. And the shirts. The shark. <laughs> Come on, shark. Hyper beam. Wah, 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 wah. Clean air. Aeroplane. Sleeping egg. Satellite fever. Windows update. Sir chicken. And the shirts. Shirt on. Coffee crunch. Um, Air. Aeroplane. Sleeping egg. Sapphire fever. Windows update. Can I spread it? Fried chicken. I'm the shirt. Coffee crunch. Superman! Alright. What a wild ride, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of people in the audience and on the stream are asking themselves, what did we just see? What did you, yes. what did you just saw? What did we witness? Is we, the I, right I think question. we have to explain what just happened. Yes. Yes, uh, so this is a Tholomew videos uh, stream challenge. And yeah, it's, um, it's uh, um, a series of challenges 
that um, pretty much anyone can stream themselves. Um, the creator, uh, Alistair Aitchison, um, he also regularly streams it on his Twitch channel. That was uh, the recording we just saw, some, some snippets um, of the, the wearing challenges uh, and yeah, this uh, painting challenge um, where, where the viewers uh, just input um, pro prompts. Prompts uh, and words and stuff yes, like that. Yes, prompts yeah. and words. Yeah. Um, draw this at this position with this medium. And it's very chaotic. <laughs> It's, yeah, it's very chaotic. I'm not sure, but there was the possibility to have s witnessed it. I'm saying witnessed, which is a good one. Uh, yesterday night, because we did a stream here on the stage, and today as well, and I think everyone was astonished by the energy that was created through those very random improvisations that he's able to do. And uh, if you ask Alistair about what his thoughts were with this is that his favorite parts are where the audience gives him words that are hard to like to act out or to draw like, like sadness like, like or, or for example how do you dance as Richard yes Nixon? Yeah. <laughs> yes how do you do that and that he has and to come up with the concept and he finds an answer to yes, all these questions yeah. he does and um i think that's not only chaotic but also a very beautiful thing itself because it just it just exists yeah. in this one moment and I think it's a great use of the medium, right? Like the playfulness, but also like the interactivity with the, the people. On Everyone the chat. is involved as well. Like he proved it just the two days, like the two past shows, basically, that even a live audience can partake. All those little creatures that you see floating around here are characters that have been added to uh, the ultimate tournament that he did. So there's always like this, or the, there has been this element of people giving to him and he creating something out of it, which uh, you could do yourself because he's opening up that possibility of streaming those games if you dare to, because as we've seen and witnessed, it's yep. a pretty harsh thing. <laughs> and no. it can get messy. It yes. can get messy with the colors and stuff and the paint, oh wow. <laughs> that was our second nomination. Yes. Um, Arthur Lomir videos stream challenge, challenge, like the whole package. And we're gonna go to the third nomination, which is Puppet Play. And yes. I'm gonna dive into VR now and play it live. Yeah, because and he's really excited for this the whole <laughs> time. Yeah. And maybe you can tell us a little bit about Puppet Play, what it is and what it's, uh, what's what all we? about. Yes, Puppet Play. Um, puppet Play is like, it's, you, you, you'll see um, in, a, in a few moments, it's a gigantic playground it's a tool basically it's a, yeah, it's, yeah it's like a toolbox of puppets and you can you can make movies in there make animations in there and um yeah it's it's uh, yep. also perfect um and can we already already see it not on the screen yet but yeah, okay pretty sure they're gonna soon, switch soon. over do you see me yes we do yes. Manu, you can go this ahead yeah, okay. this is it. So you have to you have to comment what you see because I don't know what you're seeing. We're seeing what you're seeing, basically. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is puppet play. I have my my stage right be, uh, in front of me, and I can uh, choose between different studios. So maybe I'm gonna go with uh, with the classic, with the studio stage. And there it is. You see, I have my camera here. Like my my aim is to to make a great movie now with puppets. So I'm gonna, I, you don't need that. I'm gonna <laughs> look for some um, Characters, puppets. yeah, puppets. Yeah, some characters. Which character should we take? I think... A cute one, please. There's a lot of different characters. Oh, the do you know? I like the giraffe. <gasps> what do you say? The giraffe yes, is that's cute. a cute one. <laughs> so where's my giraffe? You lost it. I you lost have to it. go back to the <laughs> shelf. You have to keep on like dragging it, it over. Yeah, just take it and then yes. yeah, exactly. I did this. I so lost my giraffe as well. I'm going to put the <laughs> giraffe here. And if I put the button, you see, I can talk like a <laughs> giraffe does. So, and I, I think I'm going to do a little play. Where another, another character? This gamer girl here, this is new, cute. 
That's a good one. <laughs> she looks. <laughs> Hello, Nina. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and, and I can take like this, like. Yeah, Hi. you can like you can move the hand and stuff, right? Just like a real puppet. And now the fun part <laughs> is that I can record this session. So, for example, I want this is a record button, and I can like be totally creative. I'm gonna record it now, and I'm gonna be like. Look here, there's a giraffe. Oh my god. It and if I and I can like rewind. Oh, I didn't press record. This this took this me a couple of yeah, this took me a couple of seconds as well, but I was just Hello. talking to someone else and they said that usually if you get into it and if you spend some time within it, um, this tool gets really easy to understand and really immersive as well. And because it's more a tool than and a game, like a game tool for creating those little movies. Uh, there's a lot of um, creative things that come, can come out of it. And there's already, as I've been told uh, by this wonderful sheet, a lot of movies out there um, on YouTube as well. Uh, people have been really creative with this. <laughs> what did but you? This is like my, my quick movie. So I can yeah. take the camera now. <laughs> Go ahead. I also and then I can, I can try to record it. So maybe here, pop and mm -hmm. play. It's a little sad that you can't see it in the recording, like in the show thing, but it actually shows you the path of movement. So within the game, you can see like a little line where you, the characters what? move yeah. to and stuff uh, like can that. Can you see oh, this? We actually can see this. Oh, like, yeah, right this there. is like where my giraffe moves. <laughs> and I can get even fancier. So if I want to uh, record with, with audio, oh, this is very confusing, right? Now you have two microphones. One yeah, this is a microphone now. <laughs> yes, if I do it, it like is. this, I have a microphone and then I can like record it now. Hello, Nina. <laughs> Look, I found a giraffe over there. Oh no, it's going to eat me. Oh no. <laughs> and if I rewind, it records the video. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's recording the audio and then you can actually export it as well. Like really quickly, and you can also do the lighting. I've been told that you can like find. You can a do everything lamp. in here. You you can you can set up different stages. You can do produce whole movies in this. Yes. This is very creative. This is just like the easiest part of it. There are whole landscapes, and it's also there is also possibilities to um, import your own. I, I um, mean, look at this. Pictures, you can even like characters. tilt the camera and stuff like that. Yeah, you can also um, give it a focus point so that yeah. there is like movement and. Uh, a blur within the background. So there is a lot of possibilities to be creative with this. And yeah, that's why I would call it that's why I like to call it a tool more than a game. And then you can you can go to the export movie. I think it's here. Yes. And start I don't want to see the sticks in camera and I can start the export. And now the best part is I'm sitting in a movie theater. That, that's the part we actually uh, can't see. Um, yes. Oh, okay. Because yeah, I'm sitting in a theater now and I can see my, like a cinema. my movie on the big screen. But we, but we can't Very see the movie fun. itself. <laughs> <laughs> this is dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, also, the, the, uh, one, one part I think is, is really funny that uh, the, the, the devel developer told us um, that he, he created um, all... Uh, all presentations for this project, which was a project for, for a university, he created all presentations in the software itself. So if you have uh, a project presentation coming up, maybe Puppet Play is the, is the right tool for that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I want to show one more thing. Oh, if go I ahead. Take, if I take uh, this puppet, this is a very complex puppet, as you can see. Like, if you do all the animation with all the hands, this is going to be very complicated. But I can do, let me show you. <laughs> there is a lot of puppets now. Yeah. Oh, gosh. This is cool. Yes, it is. And creepy as but, well. But uh, where's the button? Where was it? I can do motion uh, recording. Oh, yeah. Was it, the, can, was it oh, the blue one? It was a blue one, either the left or the, uh, the right one. You can actually use your own movements to move the puppet in the scenario. I can't. 
I can't remember where the button was, but uh, yeah. I was able to do a motion capture with, with this puppet. But this is cool. <laughs> and it can also blink as well, and it will open its mouth if you like push the right button. <laughs> this, is, this is weird. Manu, it's getting out of hand. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yes, it's a very creative uh, way to express yourself and as well show others. Impressive. <laughs> this is great. So you you can see you can use this tool. I don't I don't know if it's a game really, but you can do I'd whole movies. You can do presentations. Yeah. You can do you can be totally creative with that. So I think it's very. Oh, there you are. <laughs> 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 so I can you. totally see where uh, yeah. how this is like a most creative uh, gaming award nominee. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I was so sure that I was facing you guys. Of course you were. <laughs> <laughs> I think those VR games are always tricky. Yeah. You so lose space and time and reality. So we're coming to our next category. This was the three nominations for the most yes. creative uh, game. Yes, I think I'll need a little help here. I think we have to um, exit the software on up but, or here. Oh no, this is not working the way I wanted it to. <coughs> Just try. The next ones, it, you got if, it? If you want to see some movies, you can, uh, for the puppet play, there's a lot of different like clips and movies on YouTube, and um, you, you have to look for that. The next one is the one that we were playing at fr like the, for the first time, oh, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The next one, what, 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 what is the category? Yeah, now we're coming to the category most innovative newcomer. Exactly. And there has been this game. I was confused at first. This yes. is called It's a Wrap. And uh, when you see it on the screen, it looks like work. But it's not because, like, for me, because, like, media stuff. But there is... Uh, there's this very nice connection to puzzling and, yeah, puzzling, basically. And, and we're staying in the yeah, movie business, a, right? Yes, we're staying in the in movie business. Way, we were able to do our own movie, and this time we're a stuntman. Yeah. We're a stuntman, but we're a director in the same time. Yes. So we're like in the 80s, we're trying to produce the next blockbuster movie, and uh, we're, we're jumping from scene to scene. And it's very similar to that what we just saw, that we have a timeline or we have like to produce a script. We have to follow a script yeah. as well. Sometimes uh, those, uh, there's the like the description of the scene right here and then you know what is supposed to happen and how you can like go through the movie scene. And the next thing is that we bring our little stuntman through the scene without him dying, hopefully. No, we're, we're, to, we're, we're calling for action. And then our character moves, but we're, we're, we're moving the character. Ah! So you oh. see? We're lost. We're lost. <laughs> so we need to get to Cut. Cut. So we have to rewind. We have to do that totally different. As you can see, the bridge is like something we can direct. Like yes, we, we like can tell scene. the bridge when to, yeah. when to collapse. Yeah. And we need to scooch these uh, scenes to the right places in order to make the stuff happen that will not kill us, right? Like, he's not dead though, but still. We have like a little time frame where we can try and bring him over the bridge in this yeah. case. Mm -hmm. So if you ever worked in something like Adobe Premiere or any video edit program in YouTube, for example, you know that like this is a time loop. Yeah, the, the bridge collapses after two seconds at the moment. Yes. So if I know I take like a second to walk there, I can aim Action. for that. Run, 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 run. Oh, oh. Yeah. Not enough time. I don't think this is working, oh. Manu. <laughs> this is way too loud. This is, this. yeah. So, action. Action. Oh, ah. I totally I misunderstood. Yeah, you, you I have, have to do it like this. You have to scooch it all over. Yeah, and now run, run, run. run, run, run and run, you, run, you run, should, run, you run, should run, jump I so that the crocodiles... I, no, I want to do fine. a dramatic... No. How? 
How could you? <laughs> Please jump. <laughs> we have time, right? All right, no. <laughs> I feel stressed already. Yeah. Yes, finally. Good one. Next. You don't have to clap for that. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Okay, okay. And the levels get way more complex after yes. time. Way more complex and there is more stuff happening. I've had fun while trying to figure out not to get hit by an avalanche ball. That's the thing that we were playing. Do you remember yeah. how we did it? I remember, yeah. Yes. So it's like a spoiler now. <laughs> so as you can see, we have already two moving objects here. We have the boat, which is like just sliding down. down. Yeah. Sliding down. But it's going to be crashing into the avalanche. Yes. So maybe we should switch that up. Yeah, that looks good. And action. It's your part. You're, you're calling action. Right? Uh, oh, uh, I forgot. So now it's action. There you go. Don't forget to jump. Oh. Yes. Nice. And now? <laughs> God, no, but no, no. You, you did make it. This you did make the jump. Yeah, the jump was all right, but then the avalanche w would have just like crushed him. Is this enough? No. No, one further. Ah, uh, no, no. Have to go no. under yeah. the avalanche, yes. right? Yes. Yes. This way. Perfect. Now That's it's going to be too safe. Yeah, you'll be safe. Pretty sure you'll be yeah, safe. Yeah, that, that, that works. <laughs> I like this creative take that uh, you have like a timeline and you have to control the, the character by yourself. That looked so dramatic. It does. <laughs> it did look, look dramatic. Um, the interesting thing is that the two people who were working on this idea thought that it would just be a short thing. Now there are eight, and they're still developing. So the this is, growing yeah, this, the studio people. is growing. So this is actually a pretty good idea, as it turns out. And, and I really <laughs> like the the, the um, like the references to Indiana yes, Jones, for course. example. Of course, he switches gear. Can you tell us a little bit more about the game and the, uh -huh. the studio? Yeah, um, it's uh, from Chanko Studios. They um, have uh, members in France and also in Germany, and. Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the full release. As far as I know, there are 28 playable levels uh, right now, even if there are way, way more um, scenes in the Unity project, uh, something like 300 scenes. Um, I would really, I would really um, like to have a, a, lot of, a, lot, uh, a lot of these levels because it's, it's a really a fun concept. It is, it is. And it obviously is fun to play. You can do the rest of the show. I'm going to yeah. finish uh, this game. <laughs> We're just going to be sitting here waiting for you to finish this. <laughs> this I'm going to finish this scene. This just this scene, yeah. Because this is too important. No! It, yeah, you need longer time with the left pillar. I, wa I, guess. I wonder what that lava is made of. That it's, um, that it's not actually uh, lethal. <laughs> like you mean just because it's like a film set? Maybe they have like silk or something like that and they're just moving it. Oh, sorry, sorry. What? Is this game actually out, or is this just like in early access or in this installation? Um, yeah, you can. Oh, yeah, on. you can. You can play it. You can play it here in the exhibition um, this this evening and tomorrow. And um, after that, you will have to wait uh, until the full release, um, which is still to be announced. So, if you have the time tonight or tomorrow, you should play this game because it's actually fun. If you figure out how the dynamics work. Um, there is a nice bit of riddling about it. I'm not going to try. comment any further, Manu. <laughs> this is you're done. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't press the space button, but now it works. Oh no, it doesn't. Does it? <laughs> I have I have to download this game. I have yes, to finish yeah, it. Yeah, you home. will. Wait. Come here. I, ca I can get a hint. No. Should Please I quit? No. Yes. Do I have to quit? Yes, you have to. Oh man. <laughs> It's, Nina, it's yeah. Nina's turn to play. Now I can play. <laughs> the, the fun part is, I was telling her I want to play this game because I'm a gaming pro, and now this. So that backfired on me. You've embarrassed yourself. No, you haven't. It's fine. You need to kind of like get into the rhythm of it as well. All right, the next game that we have for you, the next uh, nominee, is Postal Secret. I'm actually a little sad that it's not that action-based, but... It has a very beautiful art style. In yes. this game, you are a postman uh, going about islands. And on each island, there is one person. And they write to one another. And um, 
the postal secret is not really kept that well, as I've uh, heard. Wait, let me see. Where is my boat? <laughs> Those are really cute, though. Wait, let's... I would like to live here, by the way. This is my dream ho home. The, the boat is actually island. missing. Yeah, oh. the boat is missing. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a bit confused. That, that didn't happen Start before. a new game, yeah. <laughs> we'll start a new game, it'll be fine. <laughs> that didn't happen before. I, li I like the fact that they wrote like 15 different, uh, 50 different letters or something, and everybody uh, from the team included some personal notes. Yeah, into it the was letters. even more, almost almost 100. And uh, I think, um, yeah, just like with personal anecdotes, and um, every everyone, uh, every playthrough, the letters letters will be sent in in another order. Nice, I'm just going to restart the game now. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah it's not working. looks like the best option. Something, something uh, not quite work right now. Let's close that. You can just Sorry. tell the people about the other... Oh, because it was open twice. I see. Yeah. New game. There we go. All right, so I will be able to... This. This is just the tell the story thing now i'm now i can like pick up the letter and then i can read it how was it explained that you can read the letters Are because you, able you get them yeah but that's no not, no no it's a secret yeah it's, but the postal secret doesn't count someone is dead someone was murdered oh, oh this is harsh please <laughs> audience please. dark yes someone was murdered <laughs> someone oh See? i got it, i got it <laughs> hello <laughs> hello toby Tonight, I had a dream of a cat sitting outside of my window, waving at me. This has to mean something. Uh, and now I can add something to the letter so that the person that it was originally, right, gets a, another and altered letter and we are trying to figure out what's actually happened, right? Yes, and for this you have to manipulate the relationships between them. So, oh. they, so, so they, they maybe, mm, they, they let slip some hint what happened huh so uh your old cat was so cute that's what i'm going to add to this and let's see what the next oh see i made him happy pick up the next letter oh there's another letter as well and, and th that's part of the like experience that you can um embarrass people that you can anger them and maybe if you anger someone he lets something slip but other people like to be like Happy, happy and maybe tell more. They tell you yeah. Secrets. Yeah. Um, and you you can actually see this uh, at the at the bottom. Um, right here. When when will something happen? See, uh, there's a little letter right there yeah. down at the bottom. Yeah. Little Lou, today I finally got a fish on the hook. The face of it kind of reminded me of you. That's not really nice, Tobo. You know, it had such a big. Ma oh. Way, uh, I have to be nice, right? There you go. We'll tell we'll tell that it was a cute. Cute fish. Ahoy, Tabo. I recently adopted the artistic style of your self-made hut in my art. I am so in love with the structures. It'll be a great addition. See, I have to upset him. That's why I have to be mean. It's not in my nature, though. Um, how to not serious. See? Okay, we can we can do this to my how to not serious of attack. Yeah, thank you. Uh, the there game you is go. from Germany, right? Yes, uh, it was it was made at the ba Bauhaus Universität uh, Weimar. Oh, that's pretty cool. And they actually didn't meet um, outside of online calls for a long, long time. Not during the development of the games. Just months after, because, um, yeah, they had to do online calls. Huh. <laughs> Greetings, fellow Islander. I remember you're traveling the world, visiting universities. I wonder if you ever stumbled upon the works of Matilda R. Johansson. And there is no given here. Like, I'm, I can just answer how, however I like, I guess. Yeah. I like that you don't see what happens if you click yeah. an answer, so you have to figure it out in context in it the story. It would mean a lot to me if you could tell me about her, so you would at least make yourself useful. Do we have to upset? No, I want to be nice. <laughs> I think it's also an option to not add something as far as I remember. Ah, I could not add stuff to letters I was not supposed to read or manipulate at all. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm glad that's an option as well. Oy, oy, oy. But yeah, I have. I want to have a look at the islands itself for just a second. Because so those pretty. are really cute. But, yeah. but the whole case happens in these like uh, five different islands or is there like a different setup? Ole. 
Mm -hmm. No, there bigger? were these uh, these five islands, um, or the the four islands with the residents mm -hmm. plus the, the I just call it the postal office island. <laughs> right here. Oh, and there is the clues probably right that you can like uh, get onto. That's nice. I don't believe I'm that not, we have I'm not enough sure. time. Yeah, I'm not sure we have enough time to play through a season. Um, yes. After each season, you can you can try to solve the the puzzle. Cool. 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 Oh, I could be nice again. Wait, your grandfather hasn't trusted me. I'm just. Uh, you have to stop me, right? I yes. love playing yes. these kinds of games. So we're gonna let you guys solve the mystery. Mm -hmm. If you want to respect your. And Nina, please decide. Uh, yes. Yes. Sorry. 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 Okay, okay, okay. Save a quid. <laughs> but I really like the, the art style. The I art like style is really intricate. I, yes. like the, I like the very casual, um, just open the letters, just manipulate people. <laughs> and it's all happening in such a nice atmosphere, you know? like. Yes, and it kind of feels also not forbidden at all. So. Yeah, not at all. Yeah. I was drawn already. You could see that. Nice. I have Good a moral entry. conflict with this game, I have to, I have to admit. No, Manu, yes, no. no. You shouldn't. <laughs> That's a pretty good entry, though. Awesome. Is there one more left? No, our next game is from uh, Portugal and Brazil. Yes. And it's called Sky Caravan. And it's uh, very text-based, uh, as, as, as well as uh, Postal Secret. Yeah. But more sci-fi. We are space travelers. Yeah, we are also, like, I'm not sure how to say, caravanists? Like there is uh, your like space merchants. Space merchants, right? The, the merchants developers say right. it's uh, the game's theme was Disney's Treasure Planet, but Brazilian. <laughs> That's how they call it. Yeah, it has some very intricate artwork and also a, a lot of puns as well. So this was a lot of fun to play for the few moments that we had. And we'll we'll not start at the beginning, but yes. yeah. later in the tutorial. game. Uh, this is the copy bar man. I really want you to see this because this is the cutest thing, <laughs> right? And um, you're you're basically um, you're you're giving yourself a role of what kind of space merchant you are, and then you're going through this uh, adventure. I will be um, saying hi to this nice fellow whose name is Barto. I think they could have been more creative. No. no. And then we can see already how this is working out. There is always this dialogue box, and um, we could be reading through all of this, but it'll be a really long time, so we'll just skip a little. And uh, we also we have those little answers or things that we can... Like a CD-ROM drive. Yeah, a CD-ROM drive where we can insert the info about. And then... And, and of course, you, you can see it's a text-based uh, role-play game. It has 95 thousand words which is like a like a whole book like a 200 page book so th there's a lot to read there's a lot of uh, things to discover and of course you have different uh, um, decisions you can make and yeah have and different those reactions. have consequences and they actually affect the whole story right yeah I, I think uh, I think you ca you can um, very much replay it several several times to um, yeah and, and always have a different uh, different playthrough which makes it a very u uh, universal game as well. And with starting also with different kinds of um, character setups, it'll be a really nice yeah, text adventure in general. I'm a little sad that we can't really get like dive into this because it feels like a very rich world that we can show you in those little like few moments that we have. But you can already see that there is a lot of... But maybe we can already start a mission. Um, yes. Because right. of the dialogues with the with the crewmates, um, I I love to do that. Um, but maybe we can we can show a bit how how the mission works. I have to I have to. S oh, distant. I see. You can see your your who's your friend and up. Nice. All right. Wait. Can you manipulate letters in this? <laughs> no, <laughs> we don't no, want to. No, I. Do I have to I have to talk to uh, Kapi Barman, right? Uh, yes, yes. There we go. Well, well. Look who survived the first delivery. I didn't because I certainly, oh well. Heard you made uh, quite a mess in the Aquarela marketplace. At maybe, least you managed to deliver. Maybe we skip deliver. the story part and what we can again? see the mission. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. All right, cargo. Yes, cargo. cargo. cargo mission. But I like the story parts. 
You're just in love with the capybara man. <laughs> yes. Because Who is not in love with the capybara man? Please. Capybara. Ah, is wait, that the word? What? Uh, yeah, actually, actually, the small story. Um, uh, yeah, c continue. Uh, skip it, skip it. Skip, I skip, skip, skip it. Is it. okay? Um, and the ah, where was it? Where was it? Um, go here. Right there. And That's the manager. No, out huh. again. Oh no. This is not giving us any clue. I would like to go outside to the ship, right? Maybe I have to talk to all of them before. Yeah. We'll just skip through this. Because you've just skipped the tutorial, right? But it seems like a huge game for, Already. for, for such a young studio. Yeah. All right. See? Now we have to try him again, I think. Hopefully, hopefully he'll find ready us. Yes, we're ready, ready to, to fly. fly. There we go. Awesome. Let's go. Wait a minute. What? No. What do you think you're doing? And no, I really like the art style. Fly. Oh, no, we no, don't no, have no enough resources. Oh shit. They all need to be at seventy percent rules. Yes. No, I don't want to die. Go check the caravan all manager. All right, I did. Uh, I do. And now I have to. At oh, oh, 70. Wait. Wait. Yeah. Right there. So you see, it's not just text. You have to. to you actually have to read it as yeah. well, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not. I'm. Uh, yeah. I think. I think you. We didn't um, confirm that we want to oh buy no. the resources. No. Oh, wow! Wow! <laughs> That's Let's like on the same level as my stunt skills. I would you say. see, like I'm not, I'm not even mad now. Confirm, okay, got it. Yeah, and that's um, actually you have to pay off a debt, and yeah, so you you'll think very hard about um, what what you will buy. Okay, I get it. Now we can go finally. Oh my God, thank you, thank you. Yes, I need a bit of applause for that. Oh look, the capybara is oh. married. Sad times. <laughs> All right, so I can do uh, this probably, huh? Because those seem locked. Yes. Clip, clip. The right. cursed kachaka. Spore heights. Oh, this is pretty. Is this game available yet? Yes, yes, it is. You can you can find it on Steam. Um, and yeah, go check it out. It's a lot of fun. I will. Capybarman, wait for me. <laughs> you you dream of the Capybarman. Probably tonight. tonight. <laughs> Depends. Depends. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Yeah. I like, think you get the idea. I think you get the idea of the game. For sure, we can't just go through all of it. But hopefully you've had a, at least an idea of uh, what this game is about. Yeah. Yeah. And I hope you got an idea of all the six nominations, right? Exactly. That's yes, the most important part. Yes, these were everyone. Um, these, these, were, these were all the nominees. Um, yeah. That's, thank you for showing them. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Of course. This is almost my favorite part of tonight. <laughs> so now the exciting part happens because... Yes. Um, these nominations are, some of them are gonna get awards, and uh, that's what happens next. We have a short break where we do some yoga. Uh, yeah, you guys are doing you yoga. You guys doing yoga? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're fit uh, for that? I think one, one thing I, I want to say before, um, before uh, yeah, I leave, um, I leave the, the stage to, uh, to GTA Yoga, um, all these uh, nominations, um, we, um, they were, we, we were helped to pick them out by our wonderful playtest community. They did some wonderful work again. It was the second year where we had an open playtest community um, and they wrote such uh, wonderful reviews for the games and uh, really, yeah, really helped us. And also if you're interested in maybe next year uh, uh, testing, testing different award submissions, 
um, and help the bots team of the Play Creative uh, Gaming Festival, um, yeah, then keep an eye on our social media channels or join our, our Discord and then we'll say, hey, now you can join the Playtest community. And then you can actually play all those games that are sent in and maybe even vote for them so that they get a nomination, which yeah. would be great, yeah. So after a short break, we're going to welcome the, the judges exactly. and we're going to talk to them and hear what they think, which games were the best and give yes. us some awards. So we are back in like a couple of minutes. Stay Here. tuned and Stay do tuned. yoga. Um. Namaste, my friends. Hello, hello. So, I heard it's time for a little break. A little time to take a breath. That's good, that's good. We want to do some yoga. And uh, for that, I brought with me a magic device. It's called a controller. And this controller can control people and it helps you to do yoga. And I need you to do that as well. And actually, I need one volunteer who wants to take the controller in their hands to control like 2,000 people at the same time. Is there a volunteer in the audience who wants to become a yoga master? There we go. Is, is that a yoga master? No, no, yes? You want to come up on stage? Please come on stage, yes. Come on, come on, you can do it. <laughs> okay. Some applause for our future yoga master. What's your name? Yannick. Perfect. Okay, do you know how to use this? Okay, perfect, then take it. And we will see a game on the monitor in a couple of seconds. And we will be on a magic villa. It looks really nice. There's a pool. And uh, there are some trees. So get in the mood already. Where is the image? Where is the image? There we go. Perfect. Ha! Oh, there's a telephone call incoming. Press B. We don't want to have a telephone call right now. Good. Perfect. So. Um, and I just click over here for you. Eh, perfect. Let's get on some music. Don't press quit. Okay, so you are now controlling a character. This character you can see here. Okay, you control this character. Not, not yet, in a minute, okay? And you, please stand up, everybody. Stand up. Yes, 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 perfect. Get a move on. And you on the stream as well, if you're watching, stand up, get ready for some yoga. Okay. Everybody, you do exactly what this character is doing. Okay? You control this character, but by controlling this character, you actually control all of these people. And the people in the stream as well. Okay? So, you have a lot of power in your hand right now. Okay? So it... You have to be really good at controlling this yoga person so that everybody can do yoga and they don't, you know, have to repeat everything when you fail. It could happen, but you know, then we just take a breath and uh, do it again. So, are you ready to do some yoga? Yes, 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 perfect. Okay, then uh, please start. Perfect. Use your space. Ground yourself to the earth. Breathe out. Hold. You can continue whenever you want. Breathe in. Earth. 
perfect. Listen to the very calm music around you. Don't feel afraid of the space around you. Keep breathing. Now we continue to a little bit more complicated step. If our controller can manage to do that. Yeah. So move to one side. It doesn't matter which side. Whatever side you feel comfortable with. Oh yes, please sit down. You can do that. The others will do the job. Very good. And hold. Be relaxed. Do you feel the waves in the air? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. All right. But we can do it again, right? We can do that. Okay, perfect. So we know the first movement already. Ground your feet to the air. Breathe in. Hold. And breathe out. Very good. I'm looking at very relaxed faces already. Good, 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 good. Okay. Then when we do the next step, you may use the other side you took before. Just to get some balance in your body, right? Very good. You can hold it. Do you feel the energy in your body? Ah, perfect. Okay, let's get a bit more down to earth now. Touch some concrete and get your feet up as far as you can. Do you feel the feet of the other people in front of you? Keep breathing and you've done that. Perfect. Very good. Let's continue. Let's continue. We're nearly done. It's half time. Perfect. Now greet the noise around you. Mm, let it all in. Oh yes. Do you feel the neon lights? And do you feel the ground? Very good. Keep doing that. And now, if you can, you know, let's get down to earth. You know, I do that with one hand. You can do it with two. Find your space around you. Get comfortable with whatever you have in front of you and get down. Oh, it's really hard with one hand. <laughs> oh. So, and now let's get up with the head. Yeah, don't forget to breathe. In and out. Very relaxing. And get up again a little bit. Yes. Mm. Ah. And I think we're nearly done. This looks very good. And let's slowly get up. Ah. And let's hang a little bit there for a couple of seconds. Shake your body out of all the energy you have left in there. And then we can get up. <sighs> Perfect. So I hope everybody feels a little bit more relaxed right now. Give some hands for our yoga master. Namaste, my friends. Let's continue. Und los. Bitte. Okay. Oh, oh, I went Hello. the wrong way. Sorry. Did Welcome back. It Everybody like relax fun. now. <laughs> Welcome back to the Creative Gaming Award. If you just tuned in in the stream, um, I'm Manuel. This is the wonderful Nina. Thank you. 
and we're giving out the eight annual ga Creative Gaming Award right now. In yes. the last hour, we played all the six nominees, yeah. and now we have the honor to introduce the jury and uh, give them up and uh, g no. And what do you say? How do you say? And, you know, we uh, invite them. Invite them invite to stage. Invite them to the stage. That's what we're. That's going what we're to looking do. for. And. Um, before we can do that, I am going to tell you who it is that was our wonderful jury uh, this year. Um, I would like uh, Anna Jäger, Constance Florio, Renate Hillen, Valentina Birke, and uh, unfortunately Dennis uh, Winkens cannot be with us, but the rest of them but he's online. are here. Yeah, he's yeah, like not on stage. He's with us, but not on stage. So would you please give us a random applause for those wonderful for the great jury, jury people? <laughs> Very well done. <laughs> Good job, Valentina. Good job. <laughs> exactly. So. Where do we start? Where do we start? <laughs> we start with the jury. I think they, they're coming yeah. up. We yes, were inviting you, you to the yeah, stage. You, <laughs> you guys are. <laughs> Hi. See, there is the microphone. I was just waiting for the microphone as well. <laughs> Just well, to let's, stay let's right there. Because we wanted to ask and, and talk about uh, w with you. Can we go a little bit over there? Yeah, just move a little closer. Over there, please. Over and right we wanted here. to talk to you guys. I can't stand here. Yeah, basically. you can't. We wanted to talk with you guys uh, how the process works with uh, with all the jury. But uh, can we get the, the the last member of the jury on stage? We're trying. We're trying that. Yeah. We're trying Dennis. so that Dennis can join us as well. Maybe I'm coming in the middle, like this. You just want to stand next to Valentina. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so please tell us, Valentina. Maybe you start. Um, yeah. How, how did the, all, the whole jury process work? Oh, it was amazing. Uh, we met up yesterday, and then we played all the games. The other people actually they they played it before. I didn't. Um, yeah, and then we played, and then we had a discussion together with Dennis. Uh, I think he's not there yet, but he will come. Hopefully, yes. But honestly, oh, it he's was... right there. Right oh, there. there he oh, is. Hi, Dennis. Hi, Dennis. <laughs> Hi, Dennis. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was really nice. Like, we discussed and discussed and uh, got, got over the categories, but yeah, it was easy and nice. Yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, please. Go ahead and do tell. What is your experience? I don't really have much to add to that, really. <laughs> but it was really nice to be invited to play the games and say what we thought of them. And it yeah. was, the discussion was really interesting as well. Was it interesting or was it hard as well? Because I've been into the jury once before and we were almost fighting one another, like the opinions. No, we were very we... polite to each oh, other. Oh, that's nice. That's nice to know that that can work yeah. as well. It, it was really <laughs> very uh, relaxing to discuss with you. It was really... Uh, gentle, but I thought we would be finished earlier, and we didn't. It was a long discussion, mm -hmm. although yeah. we were very polite. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> and what were you looking for in the games that were, were nominated? What was your decision based on? Can you take the micro? <laughs> well, we did have some criteria, especially for the most innovative, what kind of goal was the game trying to convey, or the creative part, how creative was it? And then again, the question was, what is creativity? <laughs> and we had a small discussion about that as well, and it's really, really hard to tell what's, yeah, what is creativity, and it's almost philosoph philosophical. So, um, yeah, that's what we tried to do. <laughs> yeah. And also the games where we've seen the games now, and we've like noticed how hard um, grabbing creativity and this process of game developing can be, so I can imagine. That has not been easy. And I'm not mad that I didn't have to choose and that you had to, so... <laughs> yeah. um, I'm going to switch to German for Dennis. Um, yeah. Dennis, wie war denn der Juryprozess für dich? Also, was hast du um, in diesen Games uh, gesehen? Was, wie, wie war der ganze Juryprozess? Wie ist es für dich abgelaufen? I'm asking him how the jury works for, worked for him. Um, auch die Juryarbeit insgesamt war eigentlich ganz angenehm, uh, muss ich ehrlich gesagt sagen. Uh, ich Spiele zu testen war natürlich extrem interessant. Natürlich hatte man seinen Fokus auf die ganzen, äh, auf den kreativen Teil, äh, dass man sagt natürlich, ne, da legen wir jetzt Augenmerk äh, drauf. Äh, es hat aber alle viel Spaß gemacht, ähm, zumindest die, die man so selbst testen konnte. Gut, durch mein Handicap konnte ich es leider nicht alle testen. Das haben dann meine lieben äh, Kolleginnen übernommen und mir das dann genug gezeigt und gemacht. 
Mehr was, das war so, das war ja, äh, ja, wie schon gesagt, mehr diskutiert als zu erwarten, aber es war sehr angenehm und äh, ich würde sagen, wir sind auch alle sehr zufrieden mit dem Ergebnis. See, at least, at least they're trying to be polite right now again. <laughs> I, w one thing I really like about this award that you're looking for creativity that the players can do because that's like a very unique selling point for this award. It's not about the creativeness in the game, but like who can be part of the creative process in the game. And that's what we saw in this uh, three nominations, I think. Would you agree that, that, that that's like something special you guys have here? Yeah, totally. Oh. Yeah, totally. I really enjoy this award because also it's not about like, okay, does it sell as many copies or anything? I mean, nobody will buy like an installation or so. I'm no, no offense. What? Um, Nobody's going to set this curtain right in the middle of their living room? Okay, like, okay. <laughs> no one except Nina will yes, buy yeah. a curtain, um, which is fine, but which I think... Fine. Like, this award really shows that games are a way of expressing yourself, like author games, like in films and so on. And so I think this award is super special, like it both is. of them. Are. Yes, it is, it is, they are. Can you tell us how can we, uh, how do you become a part of the jury? How do you become a member of the jury? How do you pick the people? Who's doing that? Uh, Nobody pe knows. People asked us, Fee asked us and Joe, um, that's, that's it. And we are super competent okay, and yes, uh, sympathetic. <laughs> And so, and we said yeah. yes. <laughs> we said yes. Um, just based on the, on the nominations, I think you did a great work. Thank you for that. And yes, uh, we will see each of well. you again on stage if we're giving out the awards. And um, I, I, do you have any more questions? I don't. I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that they're here, that they're all smiling, actually. <laughs> yeah, no, so I don't. And I think we can go on to the first giving award the then, awards. right? Yes. Danke, Dennis. Ja, danke. Okay. Und uh, thank you, ladies. So, we're gonna start with the most innovative, innovative newcomer no, award. Yeah, innovative newcomer award. And um, yeah, who's coming on stage? Maybe we have to talk a little bit about that. Uh, what what the prize is in this award? Because that's very interesting. Exactly, because it's not only this little beautiful award that they're going to get. This one is just. Um, uh, I don't know how to say a prop for now, so uh, there will be the real one awarded. Um, but uh, this is not the only thing that the winners no. are going to get. The most innovative game will get a mentorship, which is a very yes. unique thing you guys do here. For, for a whole year, you get someone who's mentoring you and yeah. who helps you in the process of developing a game studio. Uh, and if you. you um, I remember that last year you get the telephone number of yes, this mentor. Yes, you get the telephone number and you're and that's allowed like a, to like like call secret. them and you can write them. And I think um, having someone who is knowledgeable about the uh, whole scene and has already a lot of uh, connections to other uh, people in the business really helps with um, establishing a, a yeah. good base for your own ideas and games and also for the studio itself. So. I always prefer this one, actually, yeah. and this, especially if you're like new into the business and if your idea is um, about to evolve and be ready to like join the market, someone who can tell you how the ropes go is actually a really. So should we nice ask thing. her on stage? I would let's, love to. Let's get to. Johanna yeah, on yes, stage, yes, please. please. Johanna. Where's Johanna? Is she here? Hello, here. I oh, there she oh, is. There she is. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Johanna. Hi, Johanna. Hi. So, Johanna, tell us a little bit about you, uh, who you are, what do you do with a Tiny Crocodile Studio? Yeah, um, I'm Johanna, obviously, and uh, I founded Tiny Crocodile Studios uh, six years ago together with my husband. And um, we developed, uh, our first game that we developed together was Monkey's Way a geometry puzzle game for kids. And since then, we are developing mostly, but not exclusively, uh, serious games um, as contract work. So for example, we uh, develop games for museums, for foundations, um, for campaigns, uh, for very various topics. And right now, for example, we are developing a game that has a topic of environmental activism in cool. the former GDR, so very 
specific and niche uh, subject that's super interesting and it gives us uh, a lot of opportunities to learn about uh, different serious game topics. Cool. And yeah. you're going to be the men mentorship. Uh, you're going to offer that. Uh, what's your expectation? What's going to happen next year after we know they, who the winner is? Do they get is? your phone number? Can they call <laughs> you like at night? Is that a thing? <laughs> what are you planning to do? <laughs> not at night. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> See, there's so, already uh, boundaries. Actually, calling me uh, is not a good plan because I'm usually very wrapped up in meetings. And uh, so the best uh, thing to do is to, uh, you will probably get my email address. So write me and we can schedule uh, phone calls. And um, then, yeah, with whatever questions you have, I can try to help. Or if I personally cannot help you, then I probably or hopefully know someone who can help you. Um, yeah, because uh, being in the industry for six years and also um, organizing the Berlin Mini Game Jam that you might have heard of, uh, I know a lot of people. And so if I cannot help you, then probably someone I know can. I'm pretty sure you will be a great help for the, for the winners. Yes, and um, sure. to f let, let's find out who gets this great honor to work with yeah. Johanna in the next year. And I'm inviting back Constanze and Valentina to stage to give out this award. Welcome back. Cut! All right, stick to the plan. Hide him from the big scary robot. Move these blades for cover. Then bingo, bingo, sing. Action. Hey, we're Chanko Studios, and we just wanted to say hello. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should disable the. Chanko. Hey, ich bin Ono. Ich habe den Soundtrack geschrieben sowie die Soundeffekte gemacht. Hey. Ich bin Florian und ich war für die Programmierung verantwortlich. Hi, mein Name ist Tarek und ich war verantwortlich für die visuelle Gestaltung des Spiels. Und zusammen haben wir Postle Secret in einem Corona-Semester entwickelt und freuen uns heute hier sein zu können. Vielen Dank. Danke. Vielen Dank. Hey everyone, I'm Jan from Studio Barbarda. I'm here presenting my team, and we're super excited to have been nominated for Most Innovative Newcomer with Sky Caravan. We're all about making indie games with resilient flavors, so putting our cities, our animals, our culture in our games. And we're so happy to have made a game where your boss is a grumpy cathedra. You know, that's what we're all about. So thanks a lot, and I hope you guys enjoy the festival. Okay, so um, we're going to present the most innovative newcomer and we're going to tell you a bit about what we thought about all of the nominees. So I'm going to start with It's a Wrap by Chanko Studios, which is a fiendishly clever, funny and challenging game that takes off its hat to old 80s movies. We liked peeking behind the scenes and we're rolling on the floor laughing at our mistakes. We especially loved the two interactive phases for the players playing as the director and as the actor at the same time. And what a blast was our comment. The next one is Postal Secret by Ema Games. It got us hooked with its cute illustrations and nautical scenery. Despite uh, the visual innocent appeal, we really loved how the game made us become a secret postal agent, open letters and go hook, line and sinker with everyone to solve the case. The game is easy to understand, but hard to crack. And finally, Sky Caravan by Studio Bravada. It pulls us into a well-written space travel tale with a diverse cast, inclusive character choices, and beautiful music. We liked how your choices mattered, how they affected the storyline, and your relationships with all crew members. The game mechanic is easy to work out, but choose wisely or you will face some inconvenient consequences. And now it gets exciting. The winner is It's a Rap by Chanko Studios. Oh. <laughs> All right, 
Stick to the plan. Hide him from the big scary robot. Move these blades for cover. Then bingo, bango, see. Action! Uh, because of the creative and playful mechanics implemented, it has never been so much fun to fail and to try again and again and again and again until you succeed. We take off our hats to Chanka Studios. Congratulations. Is anyone of Chanko Studios here? Yeah, come up! <laughs> no? No. <laughs> Just this? <laughs> yeah. Here, this is, this is your uh, flowers. Congratulations. Um, you want to say a word or two? Uh, yes, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can wait. I think you can take a picture. Oh, no, 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 don't. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations, Congratulations. Um, as, you, as you saw in last hour, I really enjoyed the game. This is definitely a must play for me. Yes. I'm really looking forward to be a stuntman again, <laughs> like in my earlier life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I never told you about life. that. Oh, yes, of course. But I, 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 I was a stuntman <laughs> in my youth. Oh, you did? Yeah. Well, yeah. that's long ago. What? <laughs> and I'm going to revive that. Great. Um, so let's talk a little bit about what every, what's needed to do a play like this, like a festival like this, and doing yes. the awards and stuff. Um, so we have a special guest uh, on stage who will tell us a little bit about the play festival. Yeah, right. Vera Marie and Rahel, yeah, please, where are come you? on stage. You guys, please. Oh, there they are. Marie? Where's the microphone? There you go. This, this one is yours, yeah. So just to explain, uh, you will talk in German and you will talk in, in English, right? The microphone, please. If we can <coughs> talk at all. Oh, oh well, okay. I, we, we were just discussing that I'll try it in English, so okay. otherwise I would be the only person talking German. So, uh, yeah, let's try this. I brought Rahe, she's very good in English, so let's see. Stage. <laughs> stage, go ahead. Thank you. Yeah, um, this is the part uh, we want to thank a lot of people because this festival wouldn't be here and wouldn't take place um, yeah, if there weren't those people we are uh, now talking about. So. First We've got of, a long list. Yeah, a long list. I'm, I'm sorry for that. This is kind of a, like a break for um, Werbung. Um, it's the ad break. Yeah. <laughs> so, but please listen. It's important. Um, so we are uh, supported. Of, um, like, um, financially supported. Thank you. Financially supported by uh, the, and now it's German, Projektfonds Medien und Bildung Hamburg. And also by uh, the Bürgerstiftung Hamburg. Uh, we will talk with Yuya uh, later on. Um, they supported us, for example, uh, preparing the, the great program, for uh, example, with, our, with the schools we were working with. Um, we have to thank Game City Hamburg. Um, they always um, support us being visible and also support the award and the award show, for, um, especially. And uh, we have to thank uh, the JITS, Jugendinformationszentrum Hamburg, der BSB, der Schulbehörde. Um, for example, we, uh, every year we, um, yeah, we are meeting up there to prepare all the flyers and uh, posters. And yeah, they're really helpful with that and also with money. Yeah, and uh, also we have to thank uh, the um, University of Applied Sciences here in Hamburg um, with the games, um, the... the um, the, it's the Department of uh, Design, Media and Information and specifically the Master's Degree Games. Yeah, thank you, Rahe. Yeah, and they um, supported us with all the like, tech technical stuff or a lot of the technical stuff like the TVs and uh, yeah, a lot more computers and everything. And a lot of people um, are studying uh, there or have studied there. So thank you for that. And we also um, have to thank the... Fonds für kreative Zwischennutzung von der Freien und Hansestadt Hamburg und der Hamburg Kreativgesellschaft. 
because uh, this is the the fund who um, uh, which supported um, to use this location because uh, this was a um, uh, a former department store Karstadt Sport right so this is <laughs> this is really a, a, yeah a cool uh, location we can use and um, somehow yeah we experienced that it's not uh, made for doing this event these events <laughs> but we'll try our best okay now i think this is now your part Alrighty, yeah, I also have a few uh, supporters to thank. On one hand, the HTK Academy, who uh, sponsored the open, or who did the open workshop back there, if you've seen that today. Then we have the Kuti Spiele, which I'm sure you have seen because they can't be missed. They're the fun little cubes over there where you can play games. Then the Domo Camp, which you also have not missed because they sponsored two of our tents the relaxation tent and the stress tent. And then the Fundus Theater, um, who we have to thank for our VR goggles. And the Kurzfilm Agentur Hamburg, who um, helped us make this place look as nice as it does. And on we go with further sponsors. We have Siebold, uh, Siebold Hamburg Messebau GmbH, who have been by our side for many years now and have, uh, for example, um, thanks to them, we have these awesome stands where all our computers are standing on that keep them nice and cool and uh, working and safe because they can be locked. Um, Better fish, I'm sure you've all had some tuna sandwiches that aren't actually tuna. Um, very good. There's still some in the fridge, so if you're hungry, please do get them. And Fritz Cola, also uh, can't be missed. Big fridges all around. And yeah, finally, we also have I mean, not finally, but we also have the Polaris. Um, you may have seen us at the Polaris uh, in the past week, and that is just a great cooperation all around. Yeah, and now um, we'd like to um, welcome on stage our three partners, Ralf Hebecker from uh, the University of Applied Sciences, Julia Gretschukina from uh, the Burger Stiftung Hamburg, and Dennis Schubi from Game City. Please welcome on stage. Okay, um, should we do this in German or in English? Uh, okay, we, we'll try it in English. So it's nicer because everyone can understand. Okay, um, we wanted to ask you, why are you supporting this festival? Because it's not the first time and maybe you, you'd like to uh, tell us a bit about yeah, the reasons why, you, why you're supporting us every year. Ralf, would you like to start? Oh my goodness, all right. Um, because it's amazing, it's really just lovely and <laughs> super duper nice and um, well, Mike is doing it anyway, so I can't <laughs> stop him, <laughs> so that's super nice. Um, it's a really wonderful event that combines the best things that games have to offer, you know, like independent, artist, experiment, all the things that are somehow sometimes forgotten. forgotten. Um, and I mean, you guys are amazing too and put so much heart and effort into it. And yeah, we just can't resist to support that. So thank you very much for supporting us. Yeah. All righty. Yeah, I'm going to ask you the same question. Why are you uh, supporting us? What's special about that? And yeah. Yes, we support this festival uh, for a long time uh, because you open your doors to different groups, to different people, especially for young people and pupils who can visit the festival and be a part of it and create it with you in form of these workshops you offer uh, every day. And yeah, and we are also a huge fan of your festival because it's every year it's really unpredictable so when i visit it i never know what expects me here and behind each uh, display so i'm really thankful about this possibility to be a part of it and to dive in into different worlds uh, you create here uh, for the visitors here and also for the visitors online thank you very much So one more left, because uh, we want to know why is Game City, why are you partner of uh, the Play Festival? Yeah, so all of us here around, so on Saturday evening decided to go to the Play Festival. 
we already know it, so games are part of the society, and so I think it's really like also symbolic to be here in the inner city in Hamburg, and uh, we are very happy to have this location, that you have all people walking in, um, pe you give every year different perspectives on games, um, people are really here to find out what it's all about, to making games their own, um, to try out games, and simply have fun with it. And yeah, so from all floors here today, so that's really the coolest, and I'm happy to be here. And yeah, we are supporting you uh, every year and uh, are happy to see this here, uh, what, you, what you did once again. So thank you for having us. Yeah, thank you. And if you, if you want to uh, know more about our partners, we met some of them and uh, made or produced an interview. And uh, yeah, you tell us a bit more why you are supporting us. You find them on our website. So please take a look. And now thank you very much for being on stage. And uh, yeah, you can, you, can, you, can, you can leave now, please. Because we have to thank uh, many people more. Sorry. All right, um, that wasn't all the things we we're going to say because um, we also have a long list, as you can see, of people who we are going to name by full name in good tradition. And um, we've decided to mix it up this year. Um, so we're going to start with thanking our team with Kemal, Ahmed, uh, Stefanie, Gloria, Andreas, Petrich, Benjamin, Heinemann, Mike, Helfrich, Jennifer, Jason, Sergei, Klein, Maike, Kraus, Sarah, ähm, Ludiserto, Matthias, Löwe, Thilo, Lübka, Sven, Madara, Philipp, Malmann, Chris Ma <lacht> No! It was It going happened. so good. Yeah. Yeah. Christina, Metzler, uh, Johanna, Otte, Talia, Ria <lacht> Ristau, it's very small, it's really small. <lacht> Vera Marie, Rodewald, I know this name, yeah. Daniel, Rosberg, Hanna, Schneider, Bente, Stachowski, Karina, Steffen Schwering, Berlin, Teckenburg, Tolke, Weinhold, Rahel, Winter, that's me, um, Heiko, <laughs> Wolf, Tina, Ziegler, and now we're switching it up, Dexter, Jordan, Linda, Schütt, Sophia, König, Anna Katharina, Findel, Johanna, äh, Johanna, Johanna, Mann, we practiced it, and a lot, it, yeah. yeah, Johannes, okay. Hedrich, <laughs> Noel, Bus, Tim, Schütze, Malte, Pamperin, Karin, Liao und Merle. Muschewski. And that's all. Thank you. <laughs> Thank everyone. you for, for being here, for helping. <laughs> okay, I think this was our part and yeah. you're all, uh, yeah. We're going really now. Really curious uh, how it's going on, I guess. Oh. So, yeah, yeah, we're leaving. Okay, okay <laughs> you're you leaving, can keep it's it. fine. You're coming back, yeah. Yeah, you're, yeah. So, we're giving out two more awards, actually, and you can stay here with us. Um, yes, you will. Before we get to the, um, um, the, the main award, so to say, we have a very special award first, because we have the audience award. Yes, Everybody who's here in the award. audience um, was able to play, like yeah. the whole week, you were able to play in the exhibition, and everybody was uh, getting some stickers. Yes, and you were able to decide what games were your favorites, and then you could put as many stickers on those games as you wanted, and you could see it all around that people have put their stickers everywhere, and those have been counted today. Yes. So this is a very, uh, this is a very actual thing, and you could do that online too, as far as I know. Exactly. Yes. You were able to be uh, voters on online as well, and yes. I think you have something here. There's a golden envelope. This is something to do with this thing we're gonna to do now. I mean, this envelope was just given to me, and I was told to open it because I'm one of the curators, so obviously I have the authority to open this envelope, but I, I was a bit nosy. I was trying to, like, peek at it. I was trying to open it, and it, it doesn't seem to work. I don't, can you help me? I can try, yeah. There, there's no, no such you thing as yeah, post you security, you right? Yeah, you don't have any fingernails. No, I don't yeah, maybe, have fingernails. Yeah, maybe I think. I can. Uh -uh. We're such good actors, guys. We are. <laughs> <laughs> so, how many games did you guys play in the audience? Who played more than one game in the, in the exhibition? Yeah, you're the jury. Yeah, you're the jury. You're I hope so. <laughs> hope you played so all. Who played all the games? So, it's three people. Perfect. Yeah, I saw one. Can you come up? You? 
We played I all saw, the games. I saw a hand right there somewhere. Come on, don't be shy. Don't be shy. We don't just need one person that has better fingernails or fingers or hands working at all for opening the envelope. So, Anybody? Uh, we need someone on stage. We, we can't open the envelope. So please. <laughs> <laughs> like friendly. right there. Yeah. Right there. Oh, the yoga master. What was your favorite game? What's your name? Uh, <laughs> yeah, what's the name I mean, first? I, I just did some uh, on You did some yoga, yoga. yeah. Right, yeah. So, yeah. Um, I had it again. Yeah, can you? Yeah, yeah, just sure. take the microphone. What was your favorite game in the exhibition? Oh, actually, I was just here to uh, shoot some photos of her. Okay. Interest, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm actually here to play some today, so. Perfect. Oh, okay. So maybe you will find out which game you need to play. All right. Can you help us open the envelope? Oh, that was easy. That was, yeah. Yeah, just like, yes. <laughs> Nice, and thanks. you can do it like like the Oscars, like and the winner is, and then we need some some drums from you guys maybe here. Maybe you could like. Okay, so, and the winner is. It's Gigabash by Woo! Passion Reporter Games. Thank you. Thank you. Basically, the city and destroy the city around you. Um, honestly, if you're having a bad day, Giga Bash is the best way to go about um, getting that stress out of your system. <laughs> Rahel still needs the microphone. Yes, I got it back. So congratulations uh, to Gigabash for the um, audience award. Can you tell us a little bit more about the game? Metaphor. Can someone give me my... Ah, yes. There's my voice. There you go. So yeah, um, Giga Bash is an awesome game where you can uh, play with your friends, play against your friends, uh, wreck each other, wreck the city, and just have a blast of a time being a kaiju, a big old me monster. Um, the game developers of Giga Bash are in Malaysia, so obviously they can't be here today and they also can't be here live because that's a big time difference. Um, but as one of, the one of the curators of the exhibition, together with Matthias Löwe, um, we are both uh, so happy to see that Giga Bash has won, because truly, sometimes to relax and to take a breath, you really need to smash something, and it's a lot better to do that in a game than in real life. So, um, if anyone knows how to um, get flowers to Malaysia and still have them be fresh, please <laughs> let me know. Um, and until then, I will take the prize in their name. Perfect. Wonderful. And of course, we're going to send the real award to Malaysia. Thank you. And thank all of you for voting, because yes. the audience award is basically thank the you. award that you guys are giving and awarding to uh, the games. So thank you for participating. Yes. And of course, you can uh, also online. And of yes. course, you can still play Giga Bash in the installation here, at, here in Hamburg. Exactly. So there's just one to go, right? Yes. Yeah. It's the most creative uh, game award that is still left. And it also has a prize with it, right? It's not just this little pot of flowers that are handed right <laughs> the now. The next flower <laughs> set. <laughs> yeah, they, they also get a prize money of 1,000 yeah. bucks. Yeah, 1,000 1, euros for uh, the most creative game. Um, and it's about how to interact with a game, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, how people react and how creative the concept is. So the curtain thing is in play again. Yeah. And you saw the three nominations. We, we played them like uh, last hour. And uh, who's going to tell us who, who wins the award? Well, Anna and Renato. Please come back to stage. <laughs> Please come back to the stage. There you go. The stage is yours. Bisschen weiter vorne. Ein bisschen, ja, yeah, just go ahead a little bit further. Hi, hi. Oh, hi. Give it a second. So, um, okay. Die Nominees were our <laughs> Uncertainty by Malino, and it's a thought provoking game with unusual interactions between two players. We loved how the game design and mechanics leave to players with different experiences. 
we were met with a whole range of emotions with a sim within a simple but immersive scenery solely created by touch and sounds. Uh, the next one, puppet play by Un yeah, okay. Unechte Sachen <laughs> is the exciting sandbox of our dreams in an open world VR theater and movie studio with unlimited creative choices waiting to be made. We loved how the player can be in control of every detail, even animating, voicing and playing the puppet yourself with no strings attached, of course. Here, the VR sky is the limit. And last but not least, nominees is a Follow You video stream challenges, uh, challenge by Alistair e Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, Alistair. <laughs> Aitchison, take a breath before you enter this game. It's going to be one crazy ride. We really loved how accessible this game is for everyone and how the players can interact with performer or other participants within a framework of creative games and choices. Your mind becomes a canvas with a performer as a painter, storyteller, salesperson, or actor, and every stream can be a whole different experience based on the choices everyone makes. And before we announce the winner, I was told there's going to be a clip. Yes. <laughs> we have to interrupt this gaming show. Giant sock puppets are attacking Hamburg. Going live to witnesses now. We were just on our way to the play game show. But then, <laughs> these giant sock puppets attacked. <gasps> Hello, Play Festival. Thank you so much for the nomination. It really does mean a lot to me. Thank you so much. We are in the Clifton Downs in Bristol. This is where I come to before I do a show to sort of calm down and collect my thoughts and be in touch with nature. Um, if you're very, very lucky here, you may even come across the goats. I first found these goats just before one of my very first shows and I always regard it as a bit of a lucky charm. If I see the goat, I know it's going to be a good one. Hello, I'm Lea, one of the two co-creators of Uncertainty, and my colleague and I are thrilled to be part of Play Festival 2022. We hope you enjoyed interacting with others in a new manner. And yeah, thanks again for the nomination and this amazing festival. See you. So uh, we didn't want to rush it. So now we can announce who the winner is. Uh, and the winner for the most creative game is a Follow Me Video Streams Challenge by Alistair. <laughs> Yeah. Congratulations. Come on up, we're going to tell you why. So, uh, congratulations. Our first reaction was, what the hell? But this game taps into your creative brains most positively. We enjoyed participating and challenging other players as well as the performer. We're getting braver and more creative with our ideas as time went by. We definitely can see how this game can be used to play online or to perform for your friends or family. Congratulations, Alistair. Do you want to say something? Uh, thank you very much. Um, I, I just... I'm sure a lot of you know I'm a big fan of this festival. Um, this is my, not my first time coming along to play festival. It's always been an amazing time every time I've come here. And so to be invited to be part of it, not just to perform on stage, but to be a nominee this year was, you know, it's, it's just an absolute blessing. So um, I feel really, really fortunate to, to be able to share it with you. And I'm, 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 I'm 
honestly really honoured that you liked it so much that it connected with you. Um, so thank you everyone who's come along, thank you everyone who's joined in on the streams, um, that includes people at home who've uh, come in and tested out all the prototypes and everything, and um, yeah, this, this, this means a lot to me, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Phew. Phew. Well, thanks. <laughs> Congratulations to all the winners. Yes. And uh, of course to all the nominations. Uh, all the nominees were great. Yes, we had uh, a lot of fun playing the games as you saw before. Yeah. And I think everyone should know how much they were appreciated, even though the jury decided otherwise, maybe. Yeah. I had a lot of fun doing the games, uh, doing yes. the award show with you. Yes, with and, you as uh, well. Thank you, Manu. I think that's a wrap to, oh, to yeah. call back to the game. It's actually a sad thing always to say, we're done. It's over. The awards are all given out. All the tears have been shed. Thank you for everybody who's watching in the stream. And thank you yes. for everybody who came here to Hamburg. Yes. And uh, thank you for voting in the, aud in, in the exhibition um, for the Great Audience Award. And I'm want to say thank you to, to all the team, like, we all, we, you heard all the names and it takes a lot of people to do this great festival. And we can and only always say it again, like every year I feel like repeating myself, but we feel very comfortable and very welcomed all the time working with you guys, so give a random applause again to uh, the team themselves, because without those ones it wouldn't be possible for us to be here. And thank you that we can be part of this nice family. Yes. And I'm really looking forward to, to the next play. The play festival isn't over. There's uh, one more day tomorrow. We're exactly. doing a live stream as well. So please join us. Uh, I'm doing a Jenga, a, J, a Jenga RPG. I'm not playing a JRPG. I'm doing a Jenga RPG. I'm very curious to see what that's all about. Exactly. And all those games that you've been seeing here tonight are um, with and all, like all the others are still up here for playing. So um, you can either play here in the exhibition in Hamburg itself, or you can go and visit uh, Play Valley and yes. play them online, which uh, is for all the people, w wonderful people from viewing from the online. Yes. Thank you for coming and have a great night. Have a Thank great you. night, you guys.